Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? <laughs> I'm Beowulf, back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification, be notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Woo! Today is a Kawasaki SXR. 1500 stand-up video uh, if you haven't seen my last video with this I, ins I installed uh, a jet trim tray um, so you obviously see the title so I've done a lot of research and I was looking to do a ride plate now from a lot of stuff I was seeing online um, watercross of Texas had the best ride plate intake rate by everybody who actually raced them saying that this really made a difference with the handling um, I am going to do sponsons but I figured let's start working with this and see where this goes uh, they said this would help a little of the stability with doing the ride plate so that's why I went with this route and uh, it definitely looks shaped a lot different than um, the stock right plate and actually it's a lot in some areas uh, a lot thicker so this video is gonna be a whole install video um, I'm doing two separate videos of installing the right plate and doing the intake rate and then tomorrow I'm planning on taking it out so I have not ridden it with the new tray so I'm gonna have a right plate and an intake rate I'm really excited now the complicated thing if you're not kind of aware it's like well how am I gonna pull this whole thing up so what I have to do is loosen the front of the hitch, move the trailer as far forward as I can without it because my driveway slopes down. Uh, I don't have a lot of room. So then what I have to do is pull this whole thing back so I can take off the intake or the um, right plate to get it off. And either I'm going to do, I haven't even really looked. Ooh. Yeah, well I'll be able to do the intake great from uh, inside underneath so I don't have to pull that off but I will have to pull this thing back they came with some bolts hardware um, the four longer ones are obviously for the outer side the two shorter ones would be the inside I'm planning on doing blue Loctite it did not come with any instructions or anything so I'm guessing that's what I would put I read Loctite you're never getting off and they came with two stickers so let's hook it all up all right so I got pulled back now I'm wondering is if the intake or I think they both be separate. I'm not sure to take one off and then the other, but I'll try taking off first the right plate and see if I have to take the intake right off. All right, so I got it off. Um, that's what it looks like underneath. So, um, yeah, that gives you an idea of what this one looks like. So this is the OEM one. You can tell the thickness is it's very shaped differently. Let's see, I got too much stuff on a bench. And it gives you a pretty close idea of what we're working at here. So uh I went this one route just because on reviews of what I saw people saying like over the top positive stuff. And the interesting thing is when I talk to other companies out there, they said they never even designed stuff because other companies were so I had, and you can obviously tell, it's a, it's a lot thicker. Um, and then the shape is like, holy cow, totally different. So they you can obviously see it was blue Loctite. So let's get this thing up in place, put some blue Loctite, lock her right up. But that basically, you can see, this is what it looks like. And this is what the new one looks like. Obviously this one's heavier, so we are adding a tad of weight um, onto it. But if it gets this thing to handle a lot better, oh, it's all worth it, I'll tell you that. So I'm still, I might get their sponsons. If I've seen mixed things, my biggest thing is I want the stabi stability fix on straight lanes, it's going straight. This is basically said this is what would do it, plus the intake rate. Um, that's why I went with these first, instead of doing the sponsons. Um, that's kind of what they fixed to with the Yamaha GP 1800R. The ride plate that these come factory with, this is actually a Riva Racing ride plate 
the ones that Riva sell are black. Um, that's one thing that greatly improved the handling because I know on the GPs, the previous ones, 2017 through 2018, uh, tons of people said they handled really bad. And when I wrote this thing, I'm like, this thing's a dream. So obviously you could really tell that ride plate made a huge difference on the GP factory going on uh, Yamaha doing uh, Reva racing. So that's why I thought this is kind of a crucial thing to get this thing all figured out. Because this thing is basically a bullet, a giant long bullet. <laughs> so anything to make this thing more stable to ride is why I want this route. So I'm definitely real happy with this. I know there's some companies that modify the factory one, but I mean, how could you shave or anything, dude? This metal so thin. Um, kind of reminds me of a plate and a plate carrier. Or if you remember uh, Back to the Future Part 3, when Marty McFly made his own little bulletproof vest uh, from watching an old Clint Eastwood movie. It's almost what it reminds me of. I'll figure some use out of this thing. I could actually be, I don't know. And it's everything's always up for sale. So I always keep all my OEM parts, um, just in case, you know, I get something else and I swap the parts over or whatever. I don't, I don't get rid of stuff. I don't throw anything away. I usually sell it or store it. I store it all up in my attic. So um, let's get this piece on. All right, got it all hooked up. Use the blue Loctite. Whew. Man, it looks totally different. So the two center bolts mount to the pump assembly and then the four mount to the actual hull. And uh, I'm very curious to see how this thing rides. Uh, I'll put a little clip of the first time riding just a little bit in there so you guys get to see.
Uh, I'm very curious to see how much this changes because obviously it's it's a lot different. Um, and I'm I think it sticks out a little bit more farther than before. So I'm actually really curious uh, to see how this is going to work. And then when I have the intake grate by Watercross of Texas, man, I tell you, it's, it's neat when companies come out and, you know, test stuff and design things and then try to improve on stuff that's out there and uh, going with the metal one. I mean, I saw a couple had carbon fiber ones. I mean, this is thick metal, uh, especially in the center which could be of just the, the force of, you know, when you have the water, you know, stuff is too thin, it could, it could break. Not knocking anyone out there, other brands, because I haven't tested them. So, I mean, I couldn't, you know, to me, I'm just trying to figure out doing stuff right the first time. And I wonder, you see a lot of people saying their feedback of what they've seen and tested and tried this and bought another one. I mean, these pre this right blade and the intake rate aren't cheap. Um, so definitely, I wanted to make sure I was, you know, spending my money wisely, especially with everything going on right now. Uh, so I'm glad to get this strapped in. I've had this for a couple of weeks now, but I was waiting to do the train. Thanks for enjoying watching the video. I'm Beowulf, and uh, definitely gonna be doing a video of customizing uh, two garages. Uh, the other one is not as big as this one, um, but the house is on 400 amps. So. Basically, I want to do some custom painting in here. I installed the two LED lights. I had this one. I had uh, uh, my air handlers up here. Down you live down south, you got air handlers, not a furnace. And it had a leak. It was leaking water condensation from the uh, heat pump. So I got all this and I kind of touched it up. But you can see where it's the base of the thing right above there. So I'm just kind of on the fence of doing stuff. Now with everything going on, just. It's not safe going to Home Depot or Lowe's on the weekend. There's so many people there. Um, but basically, I'm gonna do a whole video of customizing this garage all up. And uh, I'm both, actually I'm both. I gotta get the more of these LED lights and get rid of the fluorescent lights and uh, get it knocked out. But definitely get some really good lighting in here now. I had the old fluorescent and I just changed it out. So it's definitely like really, really bright lighting in here. It's really nice, especially in install videos. I, I wanna do, too, like I always have a fan running uh, just because if you have the moisture. But I've seen there's some ones you can mount on the wall uh, so I could do one like right there and basically have it on top where you're out here working or whatnot and you're not sweating bullets. Um, plus, too, it keeps it where the moisture stuff in here, too. I actually have in the corner, I don't have it always on, but I do have a dehumidifier. It really helps grabbing some of the moisture, especially if you go riding uh, that's in here with it. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, Smash the subscribe button, existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Also check out my merch store, imbaywolf.com. I got a bunch of SXR 1500 merch coming out on there. I got a hats, t-shirts, and a tank top. So make sure you guys check that out. Also to have an Amazon store, that's amazon.com slash shop slash imbaywolf. Be driven to win. Remember, this is year is 2020. Everything's crazy with the coronavirus. So remember, never give up, never surrender. Uh, it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation. <laughs>